Hi guys, welcome to my video. So I'm currently filming my skincare routine. It's currently I think day 14 or 15 of the community quarantine and I'm really bored at home. So I'm filming this skincare routine that literally no one asked for. But I do hope you enjoy this. Uh, I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy during this time. Um, basically that's it. So without further ado, let's get on with this routine. For the first part of my skincare, I usually use a makeup remover. Uh, I usually alternate between this cleansing balm by Vanilla Co. or this Bioderma Micellar Water. It usually depends on the makeup I'm wearing that day, but if it's heavier makeup, I usually use this cleansing balm as it allows me to break down the makeup easier and faster. But if it's like for everyday makeup, I usually just use this Bioderma Solution one. Uh, this one's really small. It's my travel size one. I couldn't find my regular one. So yeah, I usually just put some on a cotton pad and I just rub it off, rub off all of the makeup on my face. So for the next step, I usually double cleanse. Uh, I've been using this Cetaphil one for forever. I haven't had the need to change it. My skin always looks okay after I use this. So yeah, I just use this one. So for my face scrub, I'm using this one by Acure. It's a radically rejuvenating facial scrub. It's this one. It has Moroccan red clay and rose oil for each performance. So I've been trying to look for a scrub that doesn't have the wal walnut. I think it's walnut because I heard it's really damaging on the skin. So I think this doesn't have it. So I really like this one. Uh, the scent is a bit too overpowering for me, but I only use it for like a short while, so it's fine. So I just, I maybe use this maybe once or twice a week, depending on when my skin feels like it needs a bit of scrubbing. So yeah, I just use this one. So after cleansing, I usually like to go in with a toner. Uh, I'm currently using this one by Avene. It's called the Mattifying Toner. It's just this one. Uh, what I like about this toner is that it's super refreshing. Uh, it's not too harsh on the skin, which I really like because some toners tend to be a bit harsh and a bit drying. So I really like that. I'm also going down to my neck. So after toner, I usually like to go in with an essence. I'm currently using this one by Cosar X. It's the Hyaluronic. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Acid Hydra Power Essence. It's this one. Uh, I'm not Korean Square by Essence. I'm really not sure what's the science behind it, but I know it really moisturizes your skin. Uh, I like it because it does that for my skin as well. I usually just put around two pumps on my hand, then I pat it in. I like to pat it in as opposed to like slathering it on because I don't know. I feel like my skin absorbs it more. I also apply it down to my neck because we need to give our neck some love too. Days where my skin is particularly dull, I usually like to use a face mask. I've been using this Nature Republic one a lot because I bought around I think more than 50 pieces when I went to Korea last year so I've been using this a lot. Uh, I usually put it, use this in between my uh, essence and serum. Then I go in with the serum as well. So after essence, I usually use a serum. Currently, I'm using this one by Drulik. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name but it's basically an herbal recovery signature serum. This is the packaging and it's super duper pretty. Look at the gradient. I really love the packaging. So I usually just put around two pumps as well on my hand. Then I also pat it in. So I bring it down to my neck as well. Then I just try to massage it a bit. Mm -hmm. 
So afterwards, I usually use an eye cream. I'm currently using this one by the Inky List. It's their Brighten Eye Eye Cream. So it's this one. So, so I've been using this for around two weeks, so I can't really tell if it's any good, but I currently like it, so I'm gonna keep I'm probably gonna keep using it. So I just rub some on my middle fingers, then I gently tap it on. I'm trying to be careful as to not to tug the skin around my eyes because I know it's really sensitive. So I just apply some on. So for the next part, I'm gonna be using a moisturizer. So I'm using this one by Juridic as well. Uh, it's their Herbal Recovery Signature Moisturizing Lotion. It's from the same line as the serum I use. So I really love the packaging on this. So for this, I just put around two pumps as well on my hands. Then I rub it in. I really like this moisturizer as well. It smells really good. It's not that overpowering aroma, but it's kind of fresh. And this moisturizer is really nourishing on the skin. So, yeah. So for the next part, I usually use a sunblock in the morning, but I forgot to get it. It's just a normal one that's prescribed by my doctor. It's around 50 SPF. But if it's nighttime, I usually use a sleeping mask. I really love this one by Laneige. It's their Water Sleeping Mask in Love Lavender. Uh, I've been using this for a long time. Before, I've used the regular one in the blue container, but I just ran out, so I'm using this one, lavender one. Uh, it's actually really good. Uh, I just put some on. I just put some on my fingers, then I rub it in. Then I pat it on my face as well. I like it because the lavender smell is not really overpowering, and but it's really fresh, and the water watery texture is really nice on the skin. So I just put some on my neck as well. So for lip balm, I'm currently obsessed with this one. It's Mitt's Strawberry Lip Balm. I think I bought it in New York when I went there last January. I really love the smell. And I like the brand Smith's for lip balm because it's the only lip balm that's been working for me. I also have the original one but I prefer this one right now because I really love the smell. So another lip balm that I currently use is this Innisfree one. It's a My Lip, My lip Balm in Wedding Peach Tea. I really love the smell and I, I use it on days that I want um, a tint because it has a slight pinkish tint on it and it smells really good. So for my last step, if it's nighttime, I usually use this um, facial mist. It's by, I think it's by Bod, I'm not sure, I think it's by Body Shop. I'll place it somewhere here. Uh, it's the Yewa Dam. I'm sorry if I'm reading this wrong. Yewa Dam Revitalizing Essential All-in-One Mist. Uh, sometimes my skin's feeling particularly dry. I like to go in and spray it all over my face. So I usually just tap it in so my skin can absorb all of the nutrients. Okay, that's it for my skincare routine. I know it's a lot of steps and honestly it can get tiring to do sometimes but it's what works well for my skin. So yeah, I am in no way a skincare expert. This might work, this 10 step Korean skincare thing might work for some, it might not work, work well for some. So. I suggest you guys try to experiment on what works well for your skin and stick to that. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe during this time. Uh, I, I hope you guys are staying healthy. Uh, with that, bye!